Today I'm going to uh, briefly introduce our project, uh, Natazo Mountain Project. So uh, Jackson Mining own like 100% uh, of uh, Nat uh, Nat Hazleton property. Hazleton property uh, is in uh, located in central BC. So it's just north of the uh, uh, Our pro Hazleton property is covered around 723 kilometers and including seven porphyry epithermal targets. Natazo Mountain is located into the north, uh, northwest corner. Uh, that's, one, uh, that's our number one uh, porphyry target right now. So uh, Natazo Mountain Target, including 22 claims, is covering 133 kilometers. And uh, historically, there's uh, only some like uh, artisanal mining activity, a few, uh, a few um, edits there. So Jackson is the first company to drill there. Um, you can see the geologically, uh, the granodiorite intrusion just is located in the center of the project and the surrounding rocks are mainly belong to the uh, Bowser Lake group, uh, home for us. So also a bunch of like high grade epithermal called sulfide wing are distributed along the intrusive and the home fail. Uh, this is a, a map of a magnetic anomaly map we finished in 2020. So you can see the large um, red area that's a magnetic high anomaly that's uh, con related to the, the late Cretaceous Buckley granite intrusion. But also many district and uh, liner magnetic low anomalies being observed within the magnetic high area, like uh, which show in the blue lines in the uh, red, big red anomaly area. So all those, um, our uh, soil and the rock high grade uh, copper uh, is located in the low uh, anomaly area. Also some non-magnetic mosinite dike with very, uh, with disseminated tocopyrite also found in the low magnetic area. Uh, this is a very well-known 3D footprint model developed by Haley based on the Yellington uh, porphyry uh, in which located in Nevada. So uh, we hire FASM Geophysics to do 3D uh, footprint model on our Natazo Mountain. So just based on this model. So FASM Geophysics actually developing uh, four targets for Natazo Mountain. So one, two, three, four. Uh, all the targets have different depths. So the shallowest depth is 340, the deepest depth is 1000. So we believe it's a very big porphyry uh, system. This is an overlap mapping about some IP data, and geochemistry data, and also the FASM target. You can see the green, green shape uh, color, that means the uh, IP, uh, high IP chargeability anomaly is has the annual shape we think is related to the propylytic uh, zone uh, outside the porphyry. So there is a, uh, all the FASM for target, it's located into the annual um, anomaly of the IP, of the high, chargeab high chargeability. So there is also a very, uh, uh, very high zinc anomaly, uh, which is overlap with the high chargeability uh, anomaly. Uh, this is overlap uh, between uh, IP uh, result and also MT result. The MT, that's the cross sections. The blue color represents high conductivity. You can see in the northwest corner the very high conductivity, which maybe indicate a very uh, big porphyry body underneath. This is another overlap mapping between uh, copper mountain anomaly and also IP. So the IP high chargeability is an annual uh, circular shape, uh, but uh, copper and mountain anomaly just located in the center, which is quite assisting with the porphyry zonation. Um, we also use uh, MDRU index for our study. So MDRU uh, index called MPI, so they use about like 11 elements from soil and rock anomaly, the soil and rock uh, geochemistry data 
and uh, developed into an uh, index. Um, uh, we, we use our GeoChemistry data to calculate this index, and uh, which found out uh, uh, those high index also consistent with FASM uh, targets. I just want to uh, compare about like a so gold some like a geophysical and geochemistry signature with Natazo Mountain, because we think there are uh, very uh, sim there are a few similarities. Uh, the first first this one this map is belong to the so gold Alpa project. The first one is um, you can see the magnetic anomaly, uh, magnetic low just located in the magnetic high area. The second one is IP, also like a annular chargeability, a high chargeability anomaly. And others are just like a geochemistry, uh, like a copper, uh, manganese, zinc, and so on. But Natazo Monster has a very similar type, you know, all the magnetic low anomaly uh, located in the high, magnetic high area, also annular IP. Um, IP anomaly and also other geochemistry data also show very um, similar, could be analog to the so called Alpa project. So the FASM not only developed the 3D footprint model for Jackson, also FASM also working for the Alpa, so called Alpa project. This is a, we got from their website, see the similarity, it's very similar. Um, the, this is a porphyry dikes we found on the uh, surface. So Jackson's porphyry is related to the uh, Mozana dike. Mozana dike uh, is, uh, has some disseminated chocopyrite and also moly. Um, the highest grade we found on the surface is about like 1.4% copper. And also uh, more co quite common, uh, you know, oxide or di um, Oxide uh, mosaic on the surface contain around 0.3 copper. This is a model that, that, that we he, we intercept in the drill hole. So the longest one we hit about like 7.7 .7 meters. Uh, the grade is about like uh, 0.7 copper equivalent. This is all the alteration zones we hit. Uh, uh, we intercept in the drill holes, including like uh, sericite and. Uh, also, uh, potassium alteration. This is uh, some like uh, high-grade epithermal wings we hit uh, on the top of the surface. Uh, very high-grade. The sulfide pressure, you know, maybe contain the high, high, highest grade may contain more than ten percent of like uh, lead and zinc and uh, silver. Uh, this is a. Uh, Actually, this map is um, mainly our drilling area last year. We drilled about nine holes, but like uh, all the holes are a new hole and very, uh, the true depths are very shallow. So we hit a bunch of like mosaic dike with disseminated chocopyrite. But actually, um, we haven't, we have to, um, all the you know, FASM uh, target is like on this list 300, 400. We just have to do a deep hole to do the test. Uh, this is uh, the work we finished in 2020. It's about like a four, um, four polymetallic zone, a polymetallic cross wing zone. So we think it's maybe uh, something related with the porphyry. Uh, we we, we define into four zones actually. So this is the rocks we found on the uh, polymetallic wings. You can see the high grades come up to like 30%. Uh, Lead, 20% zinc, and 5,000% uh, 5,000 ppm silver, and this is also like um, some of the added zone we found on the surface. This is also a uh, stock work wing, a uh, stock work wing list on the surface. We are looking for drilling partner. So if any questions, come to contact with Tony and John. Thank you.